Today we're going to talk about riveting. Riveting is used to join two or more pieces of metal together. Um, riveting is used in railings or furniture or decorative pieces. Or in this case, we're going to show you how to rivet a pair of tongs together. You just need a few basic tools to do some riveting. One of them that you need is a rivet bucking tool. The bucking tool supports the head of the rivet. Your bucking tool should fit flush with the inside head of, of the rivet. That keeps the rivet head from deforming during the riveting process. The other tool you'll need is a rivet heading tool. This tool uh, dresses up the forged end of the rivet. You also need a small ball peen hammer for the riveting process. Okay. So the first step you need to do is drill your pieces that you're going to be riveting. Drill the holes the correct size. We're using a 5 16 rivet, so I drilled 5 16 holes in my tongs. You don't want to get your hole too big and sloppy. You want a nice fit. The next thing you do after that is make sure your rivet is the right length. You need the correct amount of material sticking out of your tongs. We're using a 5 16 rivet and the general rule of thumb is one and a half times the diameter of the rivet for the length of this material. So one and a half times 5 16 is 15 30 seconds. We're making it just a smidge longer so we're at about a half of an inch. Okay, then we're going to need to heat this up to do the riveting process and you can heat this up locally with a torch or in our case we're going to be using the coal forge. Now before I stick it in the fire, I take my, my ball peen hammer and I give this just a few hits. Mushroom this end a little bit that keeps the rivet from, from popping out. So now I want to go stick this in the forge, so we're going to turn it over so we can heat the end of the rivet. So let's stick it in the forge. Well, that's heating up. Let's go over the riveting process. First, we want to make sure our rivet is in the bucking tool and that our two pieces that we're riveting together are tight together. We don't want to have any gaps here. And we'll take our ball peen hammer using the face of the hammer and we're going to use vertical blows. We're trying to upset this rivet, making it shorter and bigger in diameter. When we get it about halfway, we're going to switch to the ball peen side of the hammer, to the peen side, and we're going to work around the outside edges. Around this outside edge, and we're trying to shape it like a rivet. And then when we get down to about three quarters of the way, we're going to grab our heading tool and put that on there and this will dress up the end of that rivet. So this is our finished rivet. That's the whole process in a nutshell. We did a nice job of riveting using some basic tools. This is the same process that you'll use with any riveting project that you'll come across. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at kensiron.com or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.